Water is an integral part of life, and we have come to expect immediate access to it. When you turn on a faucet, have you ever stopped and thought about how that water got to you? Do you ever wonder where your water originally came from? How about wondering who helps with continuing the water cycle when you were done with it? Let's examine how the city of Bryan provides this essential service to our citizens. Let's start with where and how the city gets its water. Water production. Our water production system has 10 water wells that draw water from the Simsboro Sands of the Carrizo Wilcox Aquifer. These wells are approximately 2,800 feet deep, around half a mile. Due to the depth, the water is approximately 118 degrees Fahrenheit when it reaches surface elevation. In addition to the 10 water wells, there are also two pump stations, three elevated water towers, four ground storage tanks, and approximately 19 miles of pipe. With a daily production capability of 37.7 million gallons per day, as well as the ability to place 15.5 million gallons of water in storage, our production system is adequately sized to accommodate our growth. In fiscal year 15, our daily plant flow averaged 11 million gallons per day. Now that we have our water, let's explain how we distribute this resource. Water distribution. Once the water is pumped out of the ground, cooled and disinfected, it enters the water distribution system to be dispersed throughout the city. There are approximately 490 miles of pipe, 6,200 valves, and 2,401 fire hydrants currently in the distribution system. Through new development and capital improvement projects, these numbers are ever-changing as we strive to provide the best possible service to more than 22,000 customers. Across these systems, water quality standards must be followed. Chlorine residuals are continuously monitored and physically verified daily. To sustain compliance, we must also maintain at least 0.2 milligrams per liter free chlorine residual throughout the distribution system. As a part of this process, 85 bacteriological samples are collected each month for independent analysis. Now you know how fresh water is delivered to your home. However, that is only half the process. We can't forget about what happens to the water once it leaves your home and is designated as wastewater. Wastewater Collection Throughout the wastewater collection system, the city maintains 6,000 manholes and approximately 390 miles of pipe. Depending on the service basin, this underground network carries the wastewater to one of three wastewater treatment plants. Since sewer pipes are typically not pressurized, the system relies on gravity to move the wastewater from one point to another. When gravity is impractical, pumps must be used to aid in moving wastewater throughout the sewer system. The city has 23 lift stations that pump the wastewater where it needs to go when gravity is not enough. Wastewater Treatment The city operates three wastewater plants to treat our community's wastewater. Based on the service area for each treatment plant, the city is divided into three sewer basins. With a combined treatment capacity of 14 million gallons per day, the plants are well suited to meet our future development needs. In FY15, our daily plant flow averaged 7.4 million gallons per day. The wastewater treated by the plant is cleaned and released back to the environment or is recycled, commonly known as reclaimed water, and can be used for irrigation, construction activities, recharging the water basins, and much more. To ensure the quality of this precious resource, multiple laboratory tests are conducted daily to ensure the treated wastewater meets all requirements of the Environmental Protection Agency and Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. It's very important for us to make sure that our water is never wasted. This was a high-level view surrounding a few of the many steps the city goes through to ensure that our customers, you the citizen, have access to this precious natural resource. There is a lot that goes on behind the scenes that many will never think about, and we want to make sure they never have to. We know our mission is accomplished when you don't have to worry about having access to water. Thank you for letting us provide our service.